What is going on guys, it is DMG here, and today we have a very fun and attack-minded formation to try out for you guys, and this is one that, again, you're going to be scoring goals left and right. It's attack-minded formation, so if you're tired of being more defensive, if you're tired of just trying to break down these very defensive players that you're coming up against, this is a formation that could be really, really fun because you're going to be scoring three, four, five, six goals a game. Now, this is the team that we're using. Obviously, there's some good players, but not the whole team is incredibly overpowered. Powered. Obviously, we have Gold Delit and Yuri Berchiche, except Yuri Berchiche is actually a good player. I swear to God, I will stand and die on that hill until he starts to perform badly. He is a good player left back damn it so obviously yes there are some players that need to be upgraded but it's still a very fun formation i've still had a lot of success with it even with some of the players that might be lacking a little bit i do want to point out this is also a formation and with some instructions and tactics that a viewer had sent to me so thank you to that particular viewer who sent me and helped me out with these tactics and instructions now the formation in question is a 4-3-2-1 formation now i've liked this over the past few fifas mainly because of the three players up top you essentially have three strikers which is is very very good especially when you're coming up against someone who is using a four at the back because then it is going to be three attackers versus essentially two center backs so there's typically always going to be someone open there so just like always we'll go over the tactics the instructions the players that you're going to want and then of course the gameplay we'll go over some gameplay clips and i'll show you a couple of things that i really really want you guys to remember and point down so i'll kind of make a note of it and there's i think going to be three things that you guys need to kind of take heed of so make sure that you stick around for those parts as well and of course if you are new make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already for these types of videos tactics instructions player reviews all that good stuff anything else you want to see as well but let's get into the tactics first now starting off with the tactics typically i've mentioned that the tactics are not as important as the instructions and in this case they're actually at least in my opinion a little bit less important i will say that i would highly recommend keeping the defensive style on balanced and the other two things on offense on balanced as well just because then you could really screw up what the team is doing kind of let your players figure out what they're supposed to do and then take it from there but again you can kind of switch some of your tactics around so you can go to you know 40 depth maybe you can go to 60 65 depth you can try that out see what really fits you and what you want to do but you know again as long as you're keeping it on balance then you really should be good to go so again i know that's not super in-depth but i do think that instructions are going to be more important because you're telling one specific player to do a very specific thing whereas the tactics are kind of a more generalized thing of what you want them to do and so since everything is on balance which is what we want in the tactics you are going to be really putting down what you want to do in the instructions so that is where a lot of the movement the fluidity the passing is going to be taking place is from the instructions so now we will be moving on to the instructions starting out with the goalie we have it comes across a sweeper keeper that's pretty standard the two center backs are going to be on default everything which is standard as well but then the left and right backs are going to be a little bit different they're going to be on join the attack and on overlap now personally i've had a few issues in the past with having them just on balanced because i feel as though they didn't get up the field quick enough whereas on join the attack i think they do so you know if, if you feel as though your fullbacks are getting up the field at a good pace and uh, uh, enough as well then you can keep it on balance but again for me i prefer join the attack because i think they get up the field faster and that's what i want to do here we also have them on overlap because they are the only players that are going to be providing width in this team no one else is going to be doing that so we really want to make sure that they are staying on the outside and overlapping any type of player so they are always staying out wide and providing the width moving on to the midfield and starting with our central center mid we have him on drop between defenders and cover center now i prefer drop between defenders in this case compared to stay back while attacking because one there is no defensive mid and so that is why we have to make this guy uh, essentially our defensive mid there are times where even drop between defenders where he plays almost like a third center back and again i prefer that in this formation because again there are no defensive mids to really be helping out and then and for the other two center mids we have them both on just stay on the edge of the box for crosses we obviously don't want them getting in the box for crosses because then we could get countered a lot more easily and for something else as well you could put the defensive position on cover center there are some positives and negatives for both cover wing and cover center for cover wing i think it's a little bit easier to stop a counter attack because they are going out wide and stopping any wingers but if your opponent is playing a little bit more possession then it could be a little bit harder to defend 
end because again they're going to be out wide and of course that means if the two center mids are on cover center then the opposite is going to happen it's going to be harder to stop the counter but if your opponent is playing more possession based it's going to be easier to just defend moving on to the attack we have our central striker on stay central false nine and stay forward and then our left and right forwards on get in behind and stay forward now our left and right forwards are essentially our left and right strikers they act like strikers they're going to be playing like strikers so that is where you want your you know main attacking threat to be your actual strikers right so edward and eto in this case whereas your central striker is going to be more as you know the attacking run instruction says a false nine they're going to be playing center forward center attacking mid which is great because one it's going to be linking up the play from the midfield but two it's also because our central center mid is obviously dropping in deep and arguably playing like a center back at times so again we really need someone to kind of link up that play and fill that center area now before we move on to the gameplay we'll also talk about the types of players you're going to want in this team so starting with the center backs i would recommend players that are a little bit faster uh, or at least someone that is just really really good at defending i mean i'm using gold the lit i think he's fine but there have been times where he was caught on the counter so you know as long as they're probably a little bit faster or at the very least a you know godly defender for you then you should be fine now for the left and right backs obviously they're going to be a little bit more attacking since we have them on join the attack however i would recommend high high work rates so then they can get back a little bit faster so the right wing back that was just released from france as an sbc i think it was claus or klaus or however you pronounce it he would be perfect in this case because he can obviously go forward he can go back a little bit he has great stamina last all game and he has high high work rates that is perfect for this position moving on to the midfield we have our central center mid starting out and he is going to be basically a center back or at you know going forward the most a defensive mid so someone who is just very very good defensively they don't need to be great on the ball they don't need to be great at passing they don't need to be good at shooting whatsoever Delaney's never been an attack you know in an attacking area unless it was on a corner or something so you know this guy can be just a pure out and out defender and you should be good for the other two center mids someone that is probably a little bit faster and with high high work rates with some good box to box qualities now schweinsteiger is obviously not the fastest sometimes i sub him out for uh this inform kdb that i have on the bench sometimes kudus because that works as well and now on the other side we have laborde now this guy is a striker but he has good passing with a catalyst on him and even though he is not great at defending he has high high work rate so at the very least there's a body back defending right and so that's something that the opposition has to think about in that case i think he works out fine and then for the forwards again i mentioned the left and right forwards are just your left and right strikers so they're going to be your main strikers your goal scores whereas your central striker is going to be more you know of a center attacking mid type so someone who's good at passing now there are times where they do switch position a few times so eto i've noticed has been at striker a couple of times so keep that in mind maybe have everyone kind of be good at everything in the attack but most of the time your left and right forwards are going to be going forward and your central striker is going to be the one being a camp now even though we didn't mention this a whole lot i would recommend your center backs arguably being the better players in your team just because again you are getting counterattacks fairly often and so you know you really need to be able to cover yourself pretty often right so make sure that they are arguably the better players in your team so now we're going to take a look at the game plan i'm going to highlight three things that you really want to make sure that you're doing while you are using this formation some of them are going to be in the defense and some of them are going to be in the attack the first thing you want to do is to keep an eye out for through balls specifically through balls that you can make to your midfielders now in this case it's not specifically to a midfielder but either way you you want to be looking for through balls because they're going to be open fairly often so what happens here is i get the ball with perchiche and i pass it inwards into fakir now right here this is where we start to see a lot of attackers because again our left and right center mids they're going to be going forward somewhat often because we don't have them on stay back while attacking that means that they're going to be making runs in behind and right here you can see we're going to have a numerical advantage we have someone on the ball we have our three attackers up top we have schweinsteiger making this run and this is essentially a five on two because the two defensive mids that our opposition have are not making any play on us and so what we want to look for is that opening right so we have the ball with fakir we get the ball to schweinsteiger and this through ball here is wide open along with that we have fakir making this run here so if echo doesn't have a wide open shot we can just sweat the ball across to fakir so again you always want to be looking for that through ball because at some point 
it is going to be open. And it's again, it's not necessarily a matter of if, it's going to be a matter of when. The next thing is going to be more defensive. So I mentioned that you are going to be countered fairly often here. So that means you're going to have to be very good at manual defending. Really make sure that you have to, you know, learn the intricacies of not just what you're good at, but also some of your opponent's tendencies. So right here, what happens is he gets the ball, he comes out with the lit. Now right here, I'm looking for a couple of things. As you can see, I am Delaney. I'm both looking at these guys right here, and I'm looking at this guy right here. So what I can do is I'm essentially just going to kind of sit here because what can happen is if he passes it to this guy here, I can switch to one of the defenders. If I go and try to mark him, this guy is going to be free. And so that means he's going to have a shot. So you want to just kind of not necessarily just cover and defend everything for your life, but you just need to be smart about it. Cover as much space as possible and take away as many passing lanes as possible. So what happens is, again, I just kind of hold out, hold out, look for the passing lanes. Don't try to always go after the ball unless I know that other passing lanes are covered. So in this case, he doesn't really have anyone to pass to. And so I go after the ball and we start the counter. And lastly, we have one final tip for you guys when using this formation. So obviously, you guys are going to be countering a lot with this formation. That's going to be very good for it. You have three attackers that are just going to be bombing forward at all times. So yeah, countering uh, is going to be a, a thing that happens for you very often. However, you also have to be patient while you do it, which seems weird because counter and patience don't necessarily go in the same sentence. It seems odd, but you have to be patient in starting the counter attack. After that, that's when you break at full speed. And thank you to the viewer for saying that because I did not understand that at first, but now I do after playing a few games. So again, I get the ball with the lit. Now I could make a few passes here. There's Fakir that's open right here. So I can maybe do, you know, an X button pass, kind of dink it over or a, a square button pass. I could do maybe a, a through ball right here to get a uh, Laborde open. I, she's fine stagger. Maybe I could just do something there. I have Quadrado. Maybe I could pass it back, right? But instead, I'm just a little bit more patient, and then we actually eventually score from this because what happens is, again, I just carry up the field, look for certain openings. I see Quadrado and Schweinsteiger making this run. Boom. Just like that, within just 15 seconds of, of real life time, of just being open and just being patient, we immediately have this 4v3 situation where we have again four players in the attack versus their three defenders and so now that we have the break started that is where we start to be a little bit more ruthless we get the ball in the middle make this quick pass he starts to rush we dink it over and it ends up being a goal so that is going to do it for this tactic and instructions video again thank you to the viewer for showing me this because it's been a lot of fun i've been scoring a lot of goals and just overall it's just been a joy to actually play attacking football right and actually trying to make your own triangles and actually doing something different and having fun in the game so again that is going to be it if you do have any questions let me know in the comments and i'll try to answer them for you but like i said that is going to be it thank you guys so much for watching this has been dmg peace